Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, so welcome to uh, a little haul today from Frantic Stamper and uh, a couple things from Lindy's Stamp Gang, which I'm actually just going to move back over here because I think this is too tall. Alright, so um, first up we've got the, um, well I was going to order originally from Alta New and um, then I realized that Frantic Stamper does carry some of their stuff and they were, the Alta New site was out of this one. Um, so then I started checking for some other stuff. And I've gotten all the new stuff there before, but it just, I don't know, didn't dawn on me. So that way I didn't have to pay shipping for both. And I get um, free shipping at Frantic Stamper with the amount of the order or whatever. So that was good. Um, but this is called Sweet Dreams. And it's Dew Drops, Aqualicious, Teal Cave, and Galactic Stream. So I love these colors. Um, and then I'm trying some of their Glimmer Hot Foil. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a hot foil machine, don't even have any idea how to work one, um, but I saw with their alcohol inks, you can actually use this somehow with it, just dab it on and it'll like stick, I don't know, we'll, we'll try it and see. And then this I opened, um, this is 49 in Market, and uh, it's the postage stamp washi tape, I thought it had a name or something, but uh, Nature Study, that's what it is. So, we've just got some cool little mushrooms there, butterflies, some little fern things, more mushrooms. And anyway, so I just love that. Um, then I got two paper pads in the small version. I've got a lot of brick paper in the, um, like a white. And so, um, I thought this would go nice with, with some of that. Um, it doesn't look like much, but I think it'll be pretty collaged sort of on there. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, then this one, I'm pretty sure I have this in a, in a large um, size, but I'm not 100% sure. I only realized this, of course, after I ordered it, but, um, but yeah. Uh, it, so, this, I don't like the shiny, shiny paper, which I talked about the other day with that... Um, I don't know, whatever it was on there, but this is like between a shiny and a, uh, it's not like super glossy, but like a shiny and a matte, I don't know, so, um, but I just like this kind of vintage look, so I think hopefully that will be nice, um, then I'm really excited for this, uh, the embossing folder I have um, well, the big brick one from Alta News, it's like 3D and it's awesome. But the little one I have only does like this. And it's not, it's not very th 3D or anything. Well, it's not 3D folder, so I mean, there's that. Um, but it doesn't give me enough texture or something. It's just barely, and this is one of the better ones that it actually did. So, uh, I did pick up this one. I swear I thought I had it, but apparently I didn't. Um, so... I'm hoping that this will give me the bricks that I want. We'll see. Um, and then back to Alta New, I got the Pink Perfection Camellia uh, folder. And so from Creative Expressions, I got this Balloons Embossing folder. And from Nellie's Choice, uh, this is like Nellie Snellen Designs. It's this one with the trees. I just thought that would be really cool. I just love trees, so. And then I got these floating fairies. So um, I know Tony, you had asked me to do some fairy cards, so I might use uh, this very soon actually and do a fairy card. This is the chocolate baroque rubber stamps, and it's called Floral Clock. And I love clocks and flowers combined and keys and all that. But um, and I had a butterfly, so it suckered me in there. But I love. Um, the sentiments. It says, let the butterflies dance as the flowers sway. A smile lights up your whole day. Chasing time is as difficult as trying to catch a wisp of smoke. So, I like that. However, the chocolate baroque are always unmounted. So, you either have to mount it on cling or just put some sticky tape on the back or whatever. So, you got to know that. This, I thought, was the size of a postage stamp. Um, 
but it's it's cool. <laughs> it's just larger than I thought. Um, so it says first class, and the eyes are the window to the soul. Got butterflies here, and clocks, and drips, and all the things I love, right? But it's uh, just quite large. So, but I do like it. And then these um, are from Creative Expression. I love bee stuff, even though I don't like bees. Um, this is called Beekeeper, and I just loved her little bee hat, you know, and the netting around her or whatever. Uh, bees are nature's magicians, the beekeeper, bee happy, beehive company, and some little bee things. And then um, a little bee here, a, looks like maybe dragonfly wings or something on a key. Uh, there is a garden in every childhood, an enchanted place where colors are brighter, the air is softer, and the morning more fragrant than ever again. That's true. Uh, and then grow beautifully. Find me where the wild things are. So just some really nice sets that I couldn't resist. Um, this is also Alta New Paint a Flower. This is the Rosa Floribunda. Um, and I just really, really like that. Um... And then this one is the Happy Petals. And then this the die to go with that. And this is a cool big wood background, which I love. But honestly, I just I love it so much for the sentiment. It says, um, let's take our hearts for a walk in the woods and listen to the magical whispers of old trees. I love trees and I love old trees. So, I don't know, it just spoke to me. Um... And it's got some other ones, like, you know, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. True. Uh, today is the tomorrow you talked about yesterday. Uh, live live the life you've imagined. Let your confidence shine. Never regret yesterday. Never give up. You know, things like that. But that one right there. Mm. Sometimes I wish I could just buy sentiment. Um, giant bellflower from Altenew. And you probably can't tell much about it. But it's, it's kind of like this, and there's the die. But it's really pretty when you stamp it out. Um, I'm going to have to just do like a whole month of nothing but also new flowers because I've got a bazillion. But I still love them. Um, and this is the Broken Chevron Stencil from Alta New. I love that. I think it'll be really cool for like a nice masculine card or something too. Um, and then this stencil from Visible Image called Supernova can see uh, using that a lot and then this uh, it was a new company to me um, bad girls well the Chow Bella is not a new company but the bad girls line is or at least to me um, but some steampunk here some chain link fence and whatever and then um, I got this too this is their same uh, the bad girls line what's it called Poison Love, and this one is One Way. Um, but I wanted to just get the stamp set, but tack on it, like, oh, I don't know. I really like this, too. So I could see, like, this going fast, and then I thought I could stamp it out, and but then this is larger, and they're like, you know, it's like a heart, but it's their hands, and anyway, I just thought that's so cool. Um, the little rib cage heart, and you know, pick your poison, drink at your own risk, and love, and all the good stuff there. Um, yeah. So anyway, all right. So that is it from Frantic Stamper. And then I actually did not realize Frantic Stamper had these, or some Lindy's products as well, but um, I don't think they had these. So, however, I'm kind of already kicking myself. Uh, I just went to the Lindy site, which was great, and she's sh like they shipped out super fast. I guess it's a woman, I don't know. Um, but look what I picked out! Like, and it, I swear this did not look the same in my box in my checkout cart or whatever. So, like, okay, um, cattail copper brown, brandelier brown, or uh, bandelier brown, sorry. So, like, the browns practically look the same, uh, Tibetan toppy teal and apoth Apothecary Azure. Not the same, but close. Um, and then the other two are, are okay. The Petticoat Plum I like, and um, Yesteryear Yellow, Top Hat Teal, Red Hot Poker Orange, Ponderosa Pine something. Oh, Olive. Um, and then, but, so I added to myself, not in a kit, so this is the autumn leaves, because that was my main goal, is to find something in an autumn leaves type thing. 
and then I'm going to be doing, I hope, <laughs> said this last summer and it didn't work out, but I'm going to be doing some steampunk stuff. So this is called Steampunk Soiree. Um, but then I got these two, just because I like the colors, and it's um, Bio Boogie Gold and um, Bougainville Fuchsia or something. Anyway, but look, so that is almost like that. And that is almost that. Like, how how do I do that? I do not know. Uh, I guess I like what I like, and I'm kind of drawn to these colors, but back on it, I should have went something with completely opposite ends, whatever, because I'd, I'd really like to have something very light as well. So I might go back to the site maybe on my next payday or something. We'll see. Um, but for now, it is what it is, and I'm going to try them out. I'm looking forward to trying them. I really think I like them. It's just... I don't know. So what I'm thinking about doing, and tell me what you guys do if you use these. Um, I really like the shaker aspect of stuff. Um, but so the, since these are sealed, I thought I would just take a little pokey tool and poke me a hole there and kind of make it a shaker. Um, some people say you can poke a hole in this. This feels a little hard. Maybe a drill or something. I don't know. But I'm going to try that first and see if that will work and just not take that part off. So hopefully they all have that. Um, and my plan will, whatever, and I'll just make it my own little shaker. Because, uh, like, anything in a powder form, it does go everywhere. And you don't want to waste it, so there's that. But anyway, so let me know if you um, use magicals and things like that in your, uh, in your creations. And let me, uh, or do a video if you have them. Um, let me know just different ways to use them or different examples or whatever. So, okay, guys, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.